Hello and welcome to the Granite Desk. I'm Ranger Sarah Jane. And I'm Ranger Simone and we're coming to you from Joshua Tree National Park. One of the special things about Joshua Tree is that it's a desert. A desert is a place that has extreme temperature and does not get very much rain. Students often wonder why this place is so dry. And today we'll explain with a little help from our friend Ranger Kylie. Actually, I can show you why this place is a desert. These mountains. Um, the mountains? That's why this place is a desert? What exactly do the mountains have to do with it? The mountains are the reason we have a desert here. Joshua Tree is located in Southern California, only a few hours drive from the Pacific Ocean and Los Angeles. LA gets about 14 inches of rain per year, but here in Joshua Tree, we only get about four. What do we think that is? Here's Joshua Tree in Southern California with LA and the Pacific Ocean. Water from the ocean evaporates into the air and forms clouds. Wind pushes the water-filled clouds east towards Joshua Tree. Here's the view from the side. As the clouds move east from the coast toward the park, they run into a big obstacle, the San Bernardino Mountains, which are over 11,000 feet tall. When the clouds run into these big mountains, there's nowhere to go but up, where it's colder, and the water vapor condenses and turns to rain. It's kind of like wringing out a sponge. Once the clouds have lost that water to rain, they may keep floating over toward Joshua Tree, but there's not much water left in them to create rain here. Scientists call this a rain shadow desert. Just because we're in a rain shadow desert doesn't mean it never rains in Joshua Tree. We get rain and sometimes even snow in the winter, just way less than they do on the other side of the mountain. We also get some pretty epic thunderstorms here during the summer. Rain is super important to the plants and animals that call Joshua Tree home, especially when the dry seasons here can last up to six to eight months. Winter rains prompt plants to start growing, so we get beautiful wildflower blooms in the spring here, and animals also rely on these plants for food. This has been Ranger Kylie for the Granite Desk. Back to you. Thanks, Ranger Kylie. Wow, you were right, Sarah Jane. Those mountains are the reason why this place is a rain shadow desert. It's amazing how an area's landscape can affect the climate there. In turn, the climate affects what plants and animals live in a place. What's the landscape like where you live? What plants and animals live there? Thanks again for joining us on another Granite Desk adventure. What will we explore next?